Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to show you my sewing room. Anybody that does craft and they have their own room, and all they know it's going to get junky and have a lot of stuff in it. And as you can tell, I do. I have a lot of material, a lot of crocheting, a lot of, a lot of lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? It all has to do with sewing, crocheting, any kind of craft. Because I love it. I love to do crafts. I have to close down my room. I have to take this and turn it into a bedroom. There's a child that needs me. And needs a room. And I'm going to give up my sewing room. So I can be able to help the child. So this is what I'm going to do. I have to do something with all that. All that, all that, and all that, and all that. So, I am going to make, like, ottoman. I'm going to make a mattress. And I'm going to make some other things to be able to put this stuff in, be able to use it, and be able to get to it if I want to. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an ottoman to put some material in. And use the ottoman and be able to get the material. So, we're going to get started on that. Okay, I have curtain material here. It's the same material that I used to make that um, uh, tool bag for my son. So now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to get, I'm going to cut this hem off. Because we don't want that in here. So, all I'm going to do is just take and cut it off. All the way down. On none of these projects will I have any uh, I will not have anything, no patterns or nothing. Pretty well much the way I do things. <clears throat> so, we're just going to cut all this off, and when I get it all cut off, then we'll be back, and I'll show you what the next step is. We got it all cut around and all. We're going to want to level it up at the bottom. So we're going to fold it and level it down to the side, and we're going to level it all up. Or I get it back on the line. I thought I had it all right, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so we're going to level it up. We're going to get rid of that. Now we need to go 21 up. So I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to find my 21. Turn it around where it's right. So here is 21. We'll put this one in here. 21 here. And we're going to level it all up and make sure we're right. Okay, there we go. <coughs> so, and I think I put that on the wrong side. <laughs> Alright, yes, I did. We've got a little 21 here. On this side, so I can cut it. There we go. There we go. Alright, now, I got 21. And we are going to hack it. We'll make sure I'm right. I think I'm off over here on this side. Yeah, I'm off. So let's get it right. <coughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, 21, and we're going to hack it. Now this is going to be the stool itself. Okay, so now we need a top and a bottom. Okay, from this end to this end is 27 inches, just fold it in half. So we're going to go 27 
plus 27 equals 2727. All right, now we want to divide that by 4. And it's going to equal up to 6.8. And that still don't seem, that's 6 inches. So that would be that. So that's not right because 6 inches would be here. And that's not going to work. Okay, let me try to figure this out. So I'll be back. What I'm going to do for time's sake is I'm going to fold this sucker in fours for time's sake. And then it is 13 inches. So we want two square pieces from this one. That is 13 by 13. So this is what I'm going to do here. Is I'm going to make sure everything is lined up right. And I'm going to have to re-level it out to make sure that it is right. I don't care not one bit. So here we go with that. Make sure it's on the line. Okay, we're gonna cut this down. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we're gonna go 13 up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, here's 13, so we're going to cut 13, it's going to be a small ottoman, but we don't need a big one, we don't want a big one in the way. So now then, what we're going to do, is we're going to level this out, I wonder if I can get 13 and 13 from down in here. And that's what we're going to work for. So now we're going to lay this down. Level it all out. Level this out. See if I can't go a little bit more to have more to work with. And we're going to cut this down. go trying to get there we go now then and I am on my line here and I'm on my line up there and we're gonna go now we're gonna go 13 over on it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and then we're gonna cut it right here so this is what size our ottoman is going to be, but it's going to stand tall so that we will be able to put stuff in it. So, I'll show you what to do next in a minute. I need to level this one side, so I'm going to fold it like that and lay it down. Let's go here on this side. I want to get this done so I can start cleaning this room up and all because I have a lot to do to get things ready for that child. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and where's that? Okay, I lost my zipper. Here's my zipper. I want to put the zipper in the side. And the reason why I want to put the zipper in the side is so I can be able to get in and out of there real easy and be able to do what I need to do. So we're going to put the zipper on first and then we're going to sew the two tops on. So here I go and I'm going to sew the zipper on on both sides the way it should be. Okay. 
I have the zipper on, and I'm not worried about what color thread I'm going to be using, because it really, to me, it really doesn't matter. So here we got the zipper on, and it's this weird zipper. Oh, we got a string in it. I hate that. Okay, there we go. Now we'll unzip it. Zip it back. It'll do better once we get started. And if I have to, we can put some oil on it. But the, it's that yeah, we got a string in it. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do now is we are going to sew these on. So I, if you notice, I left some up here at the top, which for. For uh, good shape, and I'll we're gonna level this up to for it to be good shape. So here we go. Up, oh, gotta open my blade. I'm good about shutting it, but I ain't good about opening it, am I? Okay, we have this right here leveled out now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this all the way around it now and the corners we want to try to keep cornered so if you want to if you want to put a little bitty roll in here you can so let me find my um thing and i'll show you how to do it we'll do it that way we have a roundy thing here so what we're going to do is just going to put it from corner to corner and we're going to mark it all four corners because we want them all the same we don't want them to look different and what we'll do is we'll go on that sew line and we'll sew it so they're all cornered so once i get them sewed on then we'll be back and let's take a look at it one more thing i forgot to mention to you is we need to fold this in half and we need to mark at least one end on each one because this is where we want to put the zipper at and we'll make sure that it's in the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to start right here where the zipper is and we want this line to end up with the zipper so here we go with that i've got this one on but i made a boo-boo somehow i didn't measure right i'm in too big of a hurry and all this other good stuff so what i'm going to show you here is i'm going to measure this and it's three inches so i'm going to go down here and I'm going to measure three inches, which that'll be it. I'm going to sew a line all the way down this way, right here, so that it will be in here too. So, because I think what it is is where I cut around my corners, and I didn't allow for that. So I'm going to sew from here to here, so that it will come out level on the other side, and it won't be open like that. So here I go with that not going to cut it I'm just going to leave it and now I'm going to put on the other side so I'm going to unzip this oh wait a minute I need to kind of level this up a little bit so that's what I'm going to do here I don't want to level it it has to be leveled or else it won't look right I'm not too worried about some of the, the objects in it because it just really doesn't really matter at this point. All I want is something to hold all my material. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to sew this one on. It will go right here. So here we go with it. Got her done. Now let's find our zipper. There's our zipper. You don't want to forget to leave the, a zipper open so you can be able to get inside of it. So here we go. We're going to try to open it up. Oops. 
turn it around. And we're going to open it all up, get it straightened out right. Now then, here we have our ottoman. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start filling it up with material. And we're going to start at the bottom. So, here we go. We have got... I think I'll start with these right here. So we're going to start and we're going to put them at the back. And then we're going to put some right here at the front. I'm going to take this piece and we're going to, that we misuse, which is a good thing from here. We're going to put it up a little bit. Now we're going to keep on filling it up with all this material. All that we can. So when I get back, I'll show you what it looks like. I got it as stuffed as I can get it. So what I'm going to do now is this piece that I made a boo-boo on, I'm going to lay it flat on this side, and then I'm going to push all of it together, and I'm going to zip it up. If it'll zip, I think I got it too full. My zipper come loose there. There we go. And we're going to, there we go. Now, I'll set it up, and there it is. Good to sit on, and good to put your feet on. I think I did a pretty good job. Don't you? He's shaking his head. Yes, I do. <laughs>